What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another general message for the Collective. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So what's up, fam? Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying your day. Your morning, your evening, your afternoon, whatever it is for you. Uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see who's in collective energy. Any updates or progress on our current situations. Anything we don't see coming. Uh, the usual. I'm going to use a few different decks. I'm not going to do the full Celtic Cross. I'm going to do that shorter one that I did a couple reads ago. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to start with the... Uh, oh, I forget the name of this deck. I'm sorry, I forget the name of this deck. It is. There it is. The Wild Reflections. <laughs> I'm going to start with the Wild Reflections Tarot deck. I'm going to use my extra deck, my miscellaneous deck, and I want to use the Kipper Ish as well. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I have pre shuffled. Let's go. The Emperor. Four of Cups reverse. Two of Wands. Three of Pentacles reverse. And three of Wands reverse. Three, three. Okay, so for overall, we have the Emperor, Four of Cups Reverse, Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles Reverse, and Three of Wands Reverse. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. I'm not going to lie, during the pre-shuffle, I saw a lot, there was a lot of swords. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords, Nine of Swords. <laughs> uh, the first one out is the Emperor. You know, the Emperor is a masculine energy. Could be a man or a woman. This is uh, typically somebody that you know represents stability, security, authority. Uh, could be a father figure, a boss, or a DM. Uh, they are in the upright. The Emperor. Three of Swords Reverse. The Moon. Temperance reverse. The lovers reverse. Six of Pentacles. Oh, I was supposed to do, yeah. I'll still pull. I'll use another deck too. I was only supposed to pull like three cards and then I was going to switch, but. Okay. So there's Emperor Energy, you know. Uh. Remember to take what resonates, leave what does not, and apply the roles where they fit. He could be a she, she could be a he, etc., etc. I feel like there's somebody that's like faking the funk. There's an emperor energy here that is, you know, three of swords reverse. It talks about not being in emotional pain, not being heartbroken, not being in sorrow, not being in despair. I feel like this is how somebody is, you know, carry, carrying themselves, how they present themselves. You know, in the upright, you know, I'm unbothered. You know, I'm riding, riding, and I'm getting it. I'm good, I'm good. I don't know. <laughs> I get that energy, but like secretly, we have the moon. Secretly, you know, it's hidden that this person is really in balance. Temperance reverse. You know, somebody's walking around as if, you know, everything is everything, you know, it's nothing, nothing to a real one, you know. <laughs> But, you know, the moon talks about things that are hidden or secrets. You know, somebody is hiding the fact that, like, they are they're actually really imbalanced. They're torn the fuck up. Somebody could be overindulging, drinking a lot, smoking a lot, having a lot of sex, coping, doing they're doing things to cope. Somebody's overindulging. Um, you know, they're emotionally imbalanced. Somebody's like really messed up about a situation. But they're hiding this, you know, keeping a secret, you know. 
situation that has them messed up, the lovers reverse. This is somebody that might have lost a love contract. You know, a love contract has ended. It has expired. You know, they could have burned the contract themselves. You know, lit the match, burned the contract. And, you know, somebody's really torn up about it. But, you know, they're not showing it to the world. This is somebody who might want to give you something. Six of Pentacles talks about generosity, reciprocity, um, giving. Maybe somebody wants to be, they want, oh, uh, they want like equal give and take. Or they want to give you something. Maybe, maybe they didn't give to a, a lover situation before. Now they want to give to it. Uh, what's the Six of Pentacles? Page of Cups. Page of Cups is typically an admirer. This is reverse. It can also, these are the messengers of the deck. Page of Cups could be a message. You know, Cups relate to emotions. So this could be a message of sentiment. I love you. I like you. I don't like you. I hate you. I'm sorry. Uh, anything. Uh, it's reverse. So this is either a message not sent. Or this could be somebody, you know, sweet talking. Like Knight of Cups reverse would be like love bombing. Page of Cups reverse is like sweet talking. Sweet talk, pillow talk, you know, flattery. What is this? Eight of Swords reverse. Six of Swords. This is somebody who may want to come in. They want to be giving to a situation. I feel like a situation that might have already ended. Um, they may apologize. They may want to apologize. They might want to come in and sweet talk. This is somebody who has recently freed themselves of something. Eight of Swords reverse. Six of Swords upright. This is somebody who's not stuck in their head. They're not confused about a situation. Uh, they freed themselves of something and they, they've moved forward or they want to. Let me pull. I was going to use other decks. I feel like I might as well just go, go on ahead and run through it now. Let me see. I want to pull a few cards from the, the extra deck, the miscellaneous deck. Closed off to love, emotionally unavailable, rejecting love, love blockages. Trust your intuition, listening to your uh, listening to your inner knowing, paying attention to the signs and synchronicities. So this is somebody that could have been, you know, emotionally unavailable. They could have had love blockages. They could have rejected love. You know, they didn't want, you know. That was an, an emotion that made them uncomfortable. This is now somebody who is listening to their intuition, you know, uh, catching the signs and synchronicities. Aquarius, reverse. Could be an Aquarius in a low vibration or somebody that is, uh, has it highly aspected in their chart. Communication, reaching out a long awaited message. This person may be reaching out to you soon. Whoever this is, you know, they, um, they're they catching the signs, listening to their int intuition, and maybe it's guiding them towards you. This is somebody who's going to communicate soon. Uh, next, we have the Four of Cups Reverse. You know, the Four of Cups Reverse talks about uh, not being rejected, not missing a magical opportunity, not being bored. Um... This could be somebody who doesn't want to be rejected. Or maybe they rejected you. This could be somebody that rejected you in the past and they want to retract that. Like, no, I was just playing. I didn't mean, you know, get out of my face for real. <laughs> you know, <or> whatever. <laughs> they want to retract that rejection. No, I didn't reject you. Mm -mm. See, you got that all wrong. I didn't reject you. Why are you making up stuff? Uh, four of cups reverse. <laughs> Five of wands. Eight of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands Reverse. King of Pentacles.
So this is somebody who, like I said, they could have rejected you in the past. They want to retract that, you know. I was just playing. <laughs> uh, this is somebody that could be fighting. Fighting with somebody else. You have a King of Pentacles energy upright. And you have a Queen of Wands reverse uh, reverse energy. Uh, Leo energy could be any sign. Um, King of Pentacles is Taurus energy could be any sign. Earth and fire though. I feel like these two are fighting. You know, Five of Wands talks about conflict, tension, chaos. These two could be fighting. They, there could be tension, hostility, chaos. Uh, maybe something to do with some communication, a message they've received. Or a message that's some sent. You know, whatever the case, I feel like this was, you know, somebody invested in somebody else. Maybe this King of Pentacles energy. They invested. They planted seeds with a Queen of Wands reverse energy. And there's some type of conflict. Maybe a surrounding a message. So the news of something. What is this? The Devil Reverse. Yeah. Uh, somebody is releasing toxicity releasing a devil energy uh, releasing addictions obsessions queen of cups what's up boo hi love queen of cups baby <laughs> yeah so okay there's two people fighting. They're upset, right? Yeah, because this person wants stability with you. What about it, baby? Queen of Wands, Four of Wands. This person wants stability with you. They want a home with you. They want a union with you. And they might have sent a message. They might have sent, maybe they sent a message or, you know, a letter, an email. Maybe they called this person. There was some, some type of communication given to this Queen of Wands from this King of Pentacles, I feel like. That maybe, you know what, look, I'm, I'm done with this. You know, you toxic as hell, you manipulative as hell, you lustful as hell. I'm out of here. And I don't know if they communicated that they wanted to go towards the Queen of Cups or what, but uh, baby, you're here. Queen of Cups following the devil reverse. Somebody wants to release, uh, what do I do with that? Somebody wants to release a devil energy or release toxicity because they want a union. They want a happy home with the Queen of Cups. Look at all these cups, or yeah. Ten of Cups is at the bottom as well. Ten of Cups, happily ever after. A happy family, happy wife, happy life. Like, this is the dream. They want this with the Queen of Cups. Not with this Queen of Wands reverse. A lustful witch person. Let me pull from the other deck. Yeah, they, they could have sent a message. Somebody's like taking, maybe somebody's, yeah, they're fighting because somebody is taking a rejection really hard. Probably this Queen of Wands reverse. They're taking this rejection real hard. They're mad. They're angry. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Look, right on top of Queen of Cups. Sweet. Sweetheart. You sweet as a pie. Put a smile on my face every single reading. <laughs> sweet. Yep. True love. Unconditional love, emotional bliss, eternal love. This is like a soulmate for somebody. That's what I'm saying. That's why they're not studying. They're not worried. I mean, they don't want this Queen of Wands reverse. They're trying to go have this true love situation with this sweetheart, this Queen of Cups. They want to come towards you. Somebody's mad about it. This this Queen of Wands is run. She probably, you know, bibbity, bobbity, boo, 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 boo. Just cranking out that spell work right about now. Just mad. Sour. What else? better with time you could be somebody that has you know put a, done a lot of work you've gotten better with time maybe you're aging like fine wine it's fine foxy you know um this is somebody who's done the work better with time this is somebody who's done the work they've worked on themselves they are man you're it they're playing tag you're it though you've been it maybe you could be a leo what's up gang gang Leo gang, baby. What's up? <laughs> you could be a Leo in a high vibration. Yeah, they hating pool. They mad at you, pool. Uh, next, we have two of wands. Two of wands talks about making plans, strategizing, 
looking out towards one's future. You can talk about making a choice. Somebody's made a choice, maybe. Two of Wands. The Hierophant Reverse. Knight of Cups. Why am I hearing that song? I'm hearing that Usher song. Four of Pentacles Reverse. You make me want to lead a one I'm with and start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. Think about a ring and all the things that go along with it. You make me, you make me. That's what I'm getting to. Nine of Swords. I never meant to hurt her, but I gotta let her go, gotta let her go. Ten of Pentacles. Shit, you better let, yeah, let that heifer go. Shit. <laughs> so, somebody's made a decision. They made a choice, beloved. This person has made the choice, made the decision to uh, end a commitment, end a high-level commitment, end a marriage. The hair found reverse, end a contract. They've, you know, they're planning on this or they have done this. They've made the choice to do this. Uh, I feel like they're ending that because they want to come and make a love, you know, not, uh, Knight of Cups. They want to make a love offer or express some type of love elsewhere. Maybe wherever they have true love, you know. Uh, four of Pentacles reverse. This could be somebody who is lacking in stability. They're losing stability. They've lost stability. Or this could be somebody who is wanting to be more giving. They could have held back in the past. They don't want to do that. They want to give now. This has got somebody in a nightmare. Either this person or the person that's getting left. Somebody's in a nightmare. Nine of Swords. Somebody's hurt. That's why I said I never meant to hurt her, but I got to let her go. And she may not understand it, but all of this is going on. I tried. What do you say? I tried. I tried to fight it, but the feeling's just too strong. Make, make, make me. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. This is like, you know, generational wealth, the windfall of abundance, something that somebody's destined for. It talks about family and prosperity. Maybe they have money with somebody. Is somebody like in a nightmare because they know somebody's about to receive money or somebody's leaving and taking the money with them? I don't. What is this? What's this Ten of Pentacles? The Empress Reverse. Yeah, this copycat doppelganger. Like you were never the real Empress. Ma'am. Or I mean, it could be a man, sir. Ma'am creature. They were never the real empress. You got an emperor upright and an empress reverse. Like, uh, how that how that's supposed to work? Huh? What the fuck? They knew they was pretending from day one. That's why I, man, I don't have... Mm -mm. This empress reverse, they're concerned about the money. They don't really care, you know. That's why they're, yeah, they're, they're, there's no mutual real love between these two. Because this doppelganger copycat, they're more concerned with the appearances. What it looks like and what the, what's in the accounts. Ten of Pentacles. That's what they're worried about. There's a masculine that's wanting. They're wanting emotional fulfillment. They want to follow their heart. Let me pull from this other day. Flirt. Somebody could be a flirt. You know, just you know, I don't know, ladies' man. Uh, I don't. Know. <laughs> Scorpio just came out on the fence. Scorpio. This is somebody that lacks confidence. Somebody could be a flirt. They're a Scorpio. Or they have it highly aspected. This person lacks confidence. 40 something or younger. 40 something. First. Refusing to heal, submitting to the darkness, selling soul, too far gone, empty vessel. That might be this Empress Reverse. Maybe they're too far gone. You know, they didn't sold out. Uh, yeah, somebody's a narcissist. 
and a witch. Got narcissist and witch vibes. Baby. Uh, okay, so we have three of pentacles reverse. This is either the end of a collaboration, you know, a, a collaboration that has failed, a shady collaboration, you know, three or more people working together. This can talk about social groups, social circles. In reverse, it's like uh, low vibrational groups, you know, dark covens and dark cults. Uh, so a couple of you did school me because I didn't know. I think in one reading I, I was asking, I was like, you know, do white witches do covens? And uh, a few of you have let me know, like, uh, yeah, we do, Kev. Uh, so, yeah, I guess, you know, white witches do do covens. So I would say, you know, this would be a dark coven, you know, basement dwellers, them downstairs. Uh, three of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Two of Swords reversed. Five of Cups reversed. <laughs> Baby. The World reversed. So we have the three of pentacles reverse, six of cups reverse, two of swords reverse, five of cups reverse, <laughs> and the world reverse. Somebody's made a decision. Somebody has made their mind up and they don't feel no type of way about it. Take what resonates. This could be you. This could be this masculine. There's somebody in the situation. They have made their mind up. Three of Pentacles reversed. They don't want to collaborate. There's not going to be a collaboration. I'm not working with you anymore or I'm not working with you, period. Uh, Six of Cups reversed. I'm not coming back. There's no coming back. There's no returning. There's no going back. Two of Swords reversed. I've made my mind up about this shit. I'm not stuck in my head. I'm not stuck at all. I've, I made a decision. Five of Cups reversed. I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about the decision I've made either. No guilt, no remorse, nothing. The world reverse. This can talk about something being incomplete. Something being unfinished. Maybe a cycle that has not closed yet. Or, you know, somebody could have left somebody else in a karmic cycle. Like, yeah, goodbye. You, you, you want to stay here? Okay, cool. Bad. What is this? What's the world reverse? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Cups. I can man, Eight of Cups. I cannot make this up. So yeah, you know, I was asking what this uh this world reverse is. You could have left somebody. Somebody got left in a karmic cycle. Knight, Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is either somebody who did not make a solid offer. They never came in. They never made an offer. They you know, put their head in, in the sand, and you know, never made an offer. Never communicated something. This could also be somebody who is not trustworthy. They're not reliable. You can't count on this person. You don't trust them. Eight of Cups, you walked away. I can't trust you. Goodbye. That's what I get. Queen of Swords Reverse. Or no, this is this person. This masculine energy. Somebody's decided, like, I can't, you know, yeah, I can't trust you, which... Queen of Swords Reverse, this is somebody bitter. It's a feminine energy. It could be a man or a woman. This is somebody bitter, mad, angry, hateful, spite. I just heard hateful, bitch. That's the Queen of Swords reverse. Respectfully. Shit. <laughs> Somebody's walking away from a hateful bee. A hateful bee. Queen of Swords reverse. What's going on? What's going on here? Denial of feelings. Refusal to acknowledge true feelings. Downplaying emotions. So yeah, somebody could have been downplaying their emotions, you know? Acting like, you know, they didn't really love you. Acting like, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't something important to them. You know, like there wasn't a true bond there. This is somebody under 60. This could be somebody's mother. Or not. 60 reverse. 60 something reverse. So this is somebody younger than 60. Friend, ally, confidant, teammate, sidekick, partner. You might need to shift your perspective about the situation. Things aren't as bad as they seem. 
There could have been a friend in this in this situation that secretly had feelings for somebody else. Like, say, you know, there was a, situ a situation where there was you and maybe a soulmate, somebody you had a bond with. There was some third party that was like a friend. For, and take what resonates. This ain't going to be for everybody. There could have been a third party that was a friend. Like, this wasn't somebody that they were, like, in a relationship or dealing with. It was a friend. But this person had feelings for your masculine. They had feelings for this person. And they, they kept the secret. Charm reverse. Somebody who's not charming. Maybe somebody who's lost their charm. I don't know. This is somebody who couldn't charm you. The collective, chosen ones, elect ones, God's chosen, God's anointed royalty. Oh, you know what I just got? And this this, this definitely is not going to be for everybody. Uh, take what resonates. Somebody's friend like you. Say you're a DF, man or woman, you're a DF. And you were involved with somebody, you have a soulmate or somebody, a past connection, whatever, current connection. They have a friend that likes you. It has feelings for you. And that friend has been denying their feelings for you. Maybe ain't spoken to nobody. That's why they tried to like cause a rift between you and your person. They, 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 they like you. They wanted you. Take what resonates. This is somebody that couldn't charm you though. Maybe you, you know, you wasn't really feeling this friend. You wanted your soulmate. Like, you know, get your weird ass out the way. Move. Talking to your friend, not you. Move. Straight along. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> uh, we have three of wands reverse. Three of wands reverse could be, you know, someone's ships not coming in. This could be somebody looking out towards their future and being pessimistic. Like they don't really see, they don't see any good things coming in for them. Or maybe this is somebody who's done waiting. You know, three of wands, let's talk about waiting. Maybe somebody's not waiting. I ain't waiting no more. Goodbye. Shit. Uh, three of wands reverse. Ace of cups reverse. Four of swords. Ace of Pentacles. The Fool. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody, somebody's establishing boundaries. You know, this is somebody who has, they are clear cut. They know exactly what they want to do. They are ending a relationship somewhere. Two of Cups Reverse. It's a partnership that's done. If it was a friendship, it's done. If it was a relationship, it's done. Stick a fork in it. Um, I feel like, you know, somebody's done waiting. They're done waiting for maybe a situation to change, a situation to improve. They're done waiting for ships to come in, you know, into a situation in which there's no love. Ace of Cups reverse. There was no love. There was no mutual. It was unrequited, one-sided. You know, even if it was a friendship, there was no equal give and take. You know, somebody was really, I feel like one of these, confirmation, one of these energies was really codependent. 919 could be significant. This could be a late upload. It's after 9 p.m. Central. So, yeah. I feel like somebody's ended a situation. They've done some recovering. They could be healing, you know, resting, recouping from a situation. This is somebody who wants a new beginning they want to go a different way ace of pentacles the fool they want to take a leap of faith they want another opportunity maybe they're getting another opportunity you know ace of pentacles upright it's a blessing no matter what it is, even if it's material if it's just you know energetic it's, it's a blessing your life increasing in some way um this is somebody who's establishing boundaries seven of wands establishing boundaries protecting yourself you know defending yourself Five of Swords Reverse. This is some. This is like Five of Swords Reverse is the end of deception, the end of the you know lies. Uh, this is can talk about surrender. 
or defeat. It can also talk about a peaceful resolution. It can also talk about, you know, somebody coming clean about something. You know, maybe wanting to speak truth about some type of lies. Yeah, somebody wants a peaceful resolution. They might want to come confess, come clean about something. Because they don't want a permanent ending. Death reversed. They don't want something to end. They don't want something to be over. Knight of Swords reverse. King of Wands reverse. Three of Cups. It's important to use your discernment. It's really important to use your discernment because somebody is going to come in and they may give you some, there's some, 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 some form of truth they may tell you some some form of truth you know a little bit of the truth they're not going to give you the whole truth this is somebody who does not want a permanent ending death reverse so they're they're willing to take impulsive action and maybe even tell a few lies you know and i why did i hear that i just heard lying by omission use your discernment like I said, somebody coming that's gonna come in, they don't they want a peaceful resolution, they don't want no drama. I don't want no smoke, I'm tired of fighting. You know, whatever the case, they're gonna come in, but they're still telling lies. They're not gonna tell you the whole truth. This person could be super manipulative. King of Wands reverse. Might be a wizard, a warlock, a witch, man or a woman. This is somebody controlling, aggressive, a bully, a tyrant, a whole a, it could be a gigolo too, you know. Street meat, just slanging it left and right. Uh, take what resonates. This person might come in trying to be your friend. Well, can we be friends? Can we be friends at least? I just want to be in your life. <laughs> Knight of Wands, yeah, they go passionately pursue this shit. They ain't giving up on you yet, baby. They not. <laughs> this is also player energy. You know, somebody that's a Mac pimp daddy. Yeah, they want victory and success. They want to win with you, baby. Or they're still trying to win something. Are they still playing a fucking game? They still trying to win some shit, huh? Judgment reverse. This is somebody who wants to escape judgment. They don't want to be... I don't want to be judged for all the diabolical things I have done against you. Let me pull a few from this other deck. King of Wands doesn't want a permanent ending. What's going on here? Fitness reverse. This could be somebody out of shape. Maybe they're not very fit. Liar reverse. Maybe somebody, yeah, like I said, somebody go come in. They go give some type of truth. And I heard lying by omission. So maybe they're not going to lie. Maybe they don't want to come in and tell you lies. They know, I mean, they know they can't lie to you, High Priestess, Queen of Cups, highly intuitive. They know they can't lie to you, so maybe they're, yeah, they're going to lie by omission. Well, shit, I, I'm just going to leave that part out. I know I can't lie to her, so uh, let me just leave that part out. Tripping under the influence, mind-altering substance, delusions, mentally disturbed. Intoxicated, overindulging, drugs and alcohol, self-medicating. I said that somewhere else. Temperance reverse. Like somebody could be coping with some shit they going through. That they pretending that they're not, they're not going through. Taurus reverse. Could be a Taurus in a low vibration. King of Pentacles energy. Or just a yeah, Taurus reverse. It could be a Taurus in a low vibration that's on on mind altering substances. This person is knowledgeable, maybe they know some stuff. Not knowing, out of the loop, lacking knowledge. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is a pretender. This is somebody that pretends that they know. You know, there's a Taurus in a low vibration that pretends they know everything. Maybe they're tapped in, da 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 da, whatever the case. They don't know shit. Don't know a damn. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's what it says. Not knowing, out of the loop. 
But they pretend they know everything. Oh, I know every. Mm, I know everything. I'm all knowing. That could be that could be a feminine energy. This is somebody who lacks compassion. This is the friend or the third party. I feel like this Taurus reverse. That there was like an unrequited situation with. That person lacks compassion. Pisces reverse. We've been having these same signs come out. Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries. We got Leo today. Yeah, this was somebody's lover. Partner, spouse, love interest, boyfriend or girlfriend. Or your lover. 30 something reverse 30 something or less 30 or under i don't know let me see these other decks so bottom of the deck we have the two of cups reverse like i said it talks about a breakup uh separation the end of a partnership king of swords reverse has broke up with somebody they're in hermit mode spending a lot of time alone going inward for introspection you know they could be doing some healing you know focusing on themselves right now yeah, they've decided to stop something. Whatever they were doing, you know, if they were relentlessly attacking, you know, their twin flame or, you know, spreading lies or even, you know, thotting and bopping, hoeing and throwing. I feel like they've decided to stop. You know, somebody has stopped. They've pumped the brakes on something because they don't want to be left out. Five of, five of Pentacles reverse. They don't want to be left out in the cold. You know, if you're headed, you know, if you are on a, you know, a one, a one way ticket, if you got a one way ticket to greatness and this person knows that you are aboard the flight. They don't want to be left behind. They want to confess something. Somebody wants to say something. Page of Wands, which can talk about good news or it can talk about a, a message of like excitement. And what I got immediately, this is going to piss you off. Somebody wants to confess something. They want to come clean. Seven of Swords reverse. They want to come clean about something. But this is a message that's going to piss you off. It might upset you. Like wines talk about action too. This is my, I mean, it might upset you enough to, you know, punch somebody in the throat. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. God forbid. The hangman. This is somebody stuck. Yeah. This is somebody stuck. They could be going to jail. Or they're just at a temporary pause for reflection. I feel like somebody's in trouble. And they want to speak some type of truth. Because whatever they've been holding back. It's been really burdensome. Ten of Wands. It's been really stressful. They're under a lot of stress right now. Because something has come to light. There's something's been exposed. Yeah, an illusion has been shattered. The chariot, somebody wants to move forward. They want to get control of a situation. Uh, this is an illusion that's been shattered, you know. Somebody's seeing clearly. Maybe you see clearly. Maybe everybody sees clearly. Maybe this person's seeing clearly, and now they want to move forward. They see clearly that somebody was a queen of pentacles reverse. Materialistic, superficial. They might have acted like they were, you know, this queen of pentacles. They were committed, hardworking, you know, good with money. They're not. There's a king of cups that sees that. They see that this person did black magic to delay them. Magician reverse, ace of wands reverse. This is they were dealing with somebody that did black magic to delay them. To keep them from taking action. To keep them from moving on, moving forward. And for somebody, that th this person did this to you. There's a masculine energy that did black magic to keep you from moving forward. To keep you delayed. Strength reverse. Somebody disloyal. They don't possess integrity or righteousness. Somebody dis... I get disloyal. And because of that, they're not getting wish fulfillment. Yeah, star reverse. They might have wanted, and this came out with the Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups, four of wands. A twin flame, a union, a marriage, a celebration, a happy home. Ten of Cups, a happy life, happy wife, happy family. Fulfillment. They're both in the upright, but this is following star reverse. Like somebody's not getting wish fulfillment. If they were trying to keep this from you, 
It's, you're still getting it. Meanwhile, since they want to be stupid, they get Ten of Swords. A painful, permanent ending. I feel like this is good. Yeah, either way, this is you're, you're getting wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. You know, you could be end up independently happy. You know, happy on your own. You know, you don't need people to validate you or make you happy. Something's being balanced out for you. Or maybe you're balancing your finances. Maybe your finances are being balanced out as we speak. You know, something's being made right. Something's being made fair. Period. Yeah, something's being made fair. You've been independent. You've been self-sufficient. You've been out here doing your thing. Uh, whatever the case. You could have a spiritual, I feel called to say that. You might have a spiritual business or spiritual practice of some sort. The high priestess. What's up, boo? I love you. Fine, divine, intuitive thing. Uh, you out here independent, baby. What about the nine of pentacles? Single. You are oftentimes single. Uh, independent, self-sufficient, successful in your own right. Financially stable or getting there. The will of fortune. Good luck. Good karma. Good fortune. The odds are in your favor. I feel like shit is going well for you. Things are working out for you. And there's somebody here that is kicking themselves because they didn't invest in you. They invested in a fraud. And in a lot of cases, tried to tear you down in the process. They didn't invest in you. And it's a huge tower for them. Like, oh, shit, I was back in the wrong horse. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck. Yeah, page of pentacles reversed. This could have been somebody that was noncommittal towards you. They were noncommittal with you. Cheated. Lied. Now they have truth and clarity and they realize uh, that was a, a really big injustice. They realize, yeah, they didn't do right. Or this could be, you know, truth and clarity about an injustice. You know? I don't know. Man. Uh, let me give you some of the mess deck. This was, you know... It's in alignment with all the other reads, but this was a little bit different, you know? Mm. Creativity. Uh, we're going to get to the mess deck and see what pops out for us. Messages for the collective spirit. Messages for the collective spirit. Messages for the collective spirit. An incoming blessing is going to shock and amaze everyone. People are going to believe in miracles. Baby. Got something coming in. Something that's going to shock. Oh my God. Did you hear about Collector? Misjudged you and thought that they were too powerful to face judgment. They're in for a rude awakening. It's about to get ugly. And you stay out of the way too, beloved. Stay out the way. Don't try to save these people. Old ass bullies. Old ass bullies. Don't try to save these people. Terrified because they see the bad omens and know what's coming for them. Like I said, I feel compelled to say that. A lot of y'all got a really big heart. Queen of Cups, you got a real big heart, beloved. And people are counting. There's some people that's counting on your, your really big heart. Do not save these people. They threw, remember, they threw, they, they're the ones that threw you up under that bus, beloved. Get out the way. Don't save these people. Actor or actress. Somebody could be an actor or actress. Maybe somebody faking the funk. They go come in. Yo, oh, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. Soul ties. Somebody go come in faking the funk. I get the energy of somebody who might just like tell you whatever they need to tell you and play whatever role, wear whatever mask they need to wear in order to bind to you. Or bind something to you in some way, shape, or form. Man, protect yourself, collect. Confirmation. Confirmation. I lied about why we broke up and your character to protect my ego. I don't care if I'm a loser. I just don't want to look like one. I lied about you to protect my ego. I don't really care if I'm a loser. I don't care if I am a loser. I just don't want to look like one. What do you look like now? Like, what, what do you look like? 
This is somebody's emperor, man. <laughs> the whole truth is going to shock you. Stay grounded. I got that energy somewhere. Period. You an earth angel pool? You can't crack heads. Please collect. <laughs> you can't bust heads no more. You an earth angel pool? Stay grounded. It might shock you. It might piss you off. And as somebody who used to be very reactive, I've, I've shared my past with y'all. As somebody who used to be very reactive, don't do it, beloved. Don't do it, beloved. You've come so far. <laughs> we have come so far. We can't crack kids no more, baby. We can't do it. Stay grounded. Someone tried to energy harvest through sex. A pretender. Like, I, man... Clown, <laughs> pretender, it's your pretending ass on. Organized crimes, oh lord. Rico, they wanted you to appear crazy because you spoke the truth. Get the fuck, boy. If this ain't resonate, collect. You could be a tarot reader, my love. You a tarot reader, and these people wanted you to appear crazy because you spoke the truth. A sibling was offered an incentive to betray you. They accepted, and they will regret that. This sibling is going to come in and try to love bomb you. You know, come in and be real nice, act like nothing ever happened, act like they didn't betray you. Like a snake. What's the year of the snake? Chinese Zodiac. That might be significant for somebody. Baby. The moment you detached and called back your energy, they started losing things. It was your shit from the beginning. Yeah. Collective said, yeah, we'll be having that back. Thanks. Shit. Fuck. I'm going to take a few more. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Proceed with caution. Someone is coming in with an apology because they desperately need to reattach to your energy. You are protected. It's just like a heads up, you know. If you want to, you know, do some cleansing, do some add some added protection. Uh, you know, do what you got to do. This is just a heads up. You are protected. But somebody, yeah, somebody is coming in and with an apology because they desperately need, I need to, I need to attach to your energy. I can't survive without your energy. Someone regrets pretending not to be interested in you because you've completely released the connection with them. The grass wasn't greener. Like I said, somebody could have been downplaying their emotions for you. You know, acting like they didn't really love you. Oh, yeah, nobody thinking about collecting them. I ain't stood in that big head heifer. Shit, I'm riding around and I'm getting it. Yeah, well, they, wish, they really wish they hadn't done that because now you've released that ass permanently and they stuck wherever the fuck they've been. Like, shit, well, everybody got choices. They will lose everything they gained using your energy. Period. I mean, that's why every day, call it back. I call back my energy. Any energy taken from me knowingly or unknowingly, intentionally or unintentionally, across any realm, any dimension, any plane of existence. I call it back to me, cleansed and purified. So be it. Every time I say that, I feel better. I feel good. They hate they can't manipulate you. They feel powerless without manipulation. Yeah, trash ass. Still doing death or illness spells that will backfire when they've already been caught. Like, we know it's you. Collective know it's you, weirdo. You still sending death spells? I hope you have made arrangements. They so stupid. The answer is no. Show, yeah, get your weird ass on. No. Collective said no. Put yourself out there. You'll be pleasantly surprised by what and who you attract. It's true. You know, I don't, I can't speak for all of y'all, but I know, you know, going through like a lot of these situations, it's easy to feel like maybe you're unattractive or maybe people aren't into you or, you know, maybe people aren't going to like you for who you really are. You know, some, and here's the thing, understand that some people are going to like you and some people are not going to like you. It's just, it is what it is. 
I swear that's the best thing. Once I came to, to terms with the fact that some people just ain't gonna like me and there's nothing I can do about that. But I should not concern myself with that. Baby, it's a man. Uh -uh. It's so confirmation. It's so easy to be authentic. You know, stress free to be authentic. Pretending. That's why these motherfuckers are always stressed out because they always pretending. Collective, a lot of you know. Some you know, some people are gonna like you, some people are not gonna like you. But the thing is, there are people that like you. Don't you ever for a second think that people don't like you? Put yourself out there. Those of you wanting to date. You know, or wanting to, you know, put yourself back out there. Do it. You know, go, girl, go on, make you a little bit of, make you one of them uh, plenty of fishes or something. Or Facebook has this dating slash friendship thing now. Because I've been getting pinged. All these people. Uh, but yeah, they have this thing where like people can like you. Either for dating or as a friend. Uh, and I had no idea. I'm think I was one of the people like, oh, but don't nobody want me. Ain't nobody think about me. You know. Not that I'm like down on my own confidence, but I'm just for a while I've been solo and I haven't been worried about that type of thing. So uh, those of you wanting to, you know, make friends or get, you know, date, put yourself out there. You a fox, walk man. They could be beating down your dough. Malicious, malicious and gossip slander. Or, or what? Malicious gossip and slander. <laughs> What's new? Like I say, some people just not go like you and there's absolutely nothing you can do about that. Wish him well. Shit. You can you can not like me all you want. But until you step to my face with that bullshit, I don't care. Collective don't care. We don't care. You talking all that shit behind collective back. We can't hear you. Hater. Shit. Somebody could be a narcissist. We had to come out too. Narcissist. There's a narcissist that's amazed by your perseverance. No one. This one get me every time amazed by your perseverance no one expected you to recover from their betrayals nobody not a nary one of these feeble-minded roaches expected you to recover from their betrayals not a single one just counting collective out <laughs> damn light and dark energies are working together to protect you that's why these motherfuckers couldn't win. You know, they down there in the basement and they sending shit, you know, shooting shit all the way up there to cloud nine where you at, right? And uh, they're not even realizing, like, you got people down there. You got, see, you got people on your team down there in the basement with they dumbasses. Stupid. Crash and burn. What the hell was they thinking? They didn't know your spiritual rank. Now they in regret. Yeah. Put the wand down. Shit. Uh, let me give you some Oracle. Lemurian Star Child has been calling to me. So you, you we're going to get one of those. Uh, Lemurian Star Child, this is like my first major Oracle. I've told you guys the story. When I first started Tarot, this deck, I wanted so bad, more than anything. But it was like $90 at the time. And I was not paying it for an Oracle deck. It's 88 cards. It's a beautiful deck. Uh, my first like sizable donation i think somebody sent me like a hundred dollars on paypal and i was so geeked i bought the deck but that was like you know almost two years ago uh this is a beautiful deck i love it uh we're gonna pick one from here guidance inner compass support trust your guidance all right uh let's see what else we got let me give you an iching iching Difficulty at the beginning. Water above, thunder below. Difficulty at the beginning. I'm going to give you one of these magical spirit oracles as well. All right. What's a good one, spirit? Liberation. Free spirit, wild, authentic. 43 could be significant. All right, we're going to start with that one. It says, just look at that. Just let me be. Just let me be. Can collective live? Goodness. Uh, liberation. Free spirit. Wild. Authentic. I like this one already. Okay, where are we at? All right. I am unapologetically being myself. 
I connect with my wild. Raging waters, the one who cannot be caged, the wildflower, the heart that is free, the liberated spirit is not one who has changed or is different now. They just stopped being everything that they are not. They stopped being who others wanted them to be. How the world said they should be. The free spirit calls you near. Carefree and un unapologetic, they dance barefoot beneath the full moon, hair flying in the wind. They swim naked in the vast ocean, feeling big and small all at once. It doesn't matter who may be watching. It isn't for others. It's for the revival and invigoration of their own spirit. It is to connect with the great goddess. The free spirit runs barefoot on endless fields of wildflowers and even wildfires, following her bliss, chasing her passion, and listening to her intuition. Over all else, she values the freedom of her soul and the adventure of her life. She drinks straight from the cool, clear waterfall of what spirit has to bring her. Tears of gratitude fill her eyes as she deeply experiences the fullness of her existence, appreciating the so muchness of it all. Pulling this card invites you to welcome more of this energy at this time. There is an irresistible freedom that comes with connecting to this part of the divine feminine. It is wild, unapologetic, and faithfully surrendered. It is unhinged, unfiltered, erratic, creative bliss. And we need it, or our soul cannot thrive. Our primal self needs to let out a loud yell every now and then. The wild animal within us must be allowed to break free. This is part of keeping a healthy soul. Liberation, baby. Free spirit. Wild. Authentic. I like that. I like that one. Period. Boom. Uh, from I Ching. We have difficulty at the beginning. Number three. All right. The birth of a new venture or relationship is an entry into the unknown. New things seem to be rushing upon you, and confusion can easily take over. However, chaos is a powerful force when you harness it properly, so don't rush things right now. Do not let events overwhelm you. As you take the first step, stay calm and ready to persevere. Ask for guidance and support. Challenges lie ahead, but they are challenges you can handle. Gain strength, find courage. Like a newborn fawn, the opportunity for rapid development is there, yet it is only through determination that the fawn can rise to his feet and grow to full stature. Keep going despite difficulties, and you will find the success that you desire. A key challenge at this time is to maintain clarity. Avoid lunging at solutions. Do not start a new project or relationship before thinking it through. Make yourself wait until a good course of action becomes clear. A careless step in the beginning can cause events to get out of control later. And be sure to enlist the advice of experienced people and wise supporters. Difficulty at the beginning. That was a good one. Do not start a new project or relationship before thinking it through. A careless step in the beginning can cause events to get out of control later. Message. Okay, from the uh, the Lemurian Star Child, we have guidance. Y'all know these tend to be a little bit lengthy, but I'm going to cut it down for you, love. All right, guidance. Inner compass, support, trust your guidance, dousing, signs, guides, trust. I listen to guidance that is loving, light, and resonates with deepest peace. Beings that speak to my heart know the way. Imagine traveling on a cold winter's night guided by starlight. The unicorn you are riding is guiding you with the gentle energy of its horn, but the decision is in your hands. There are many signs to many paths, but you don't need to analyze them with your mind. Let the elements guide you as your breath becomes visible in the clear air. The elements of love, the elements of wisdom, the elements of nature, and the elements of the ethers are here to support you. Let these elements of support come to you multidimensionally. You are supported in every second of every breath to follow the light and the guidance of love. Elements of fear are being dissolved as you encounter them on your path. You are shining the light so that fear cannot survive where you tread. Allow this navigation to come upon you even more. You need to trust it 
Even when you get in unexpected situations, situations that bring up fear in you, allow this fear to be cleared by the Palladians. They are your helpers whenever you need to raise your vibration powerfully. Your Lemurian guides are also upon you. They want to show you special places in nature, places that are overlooked by many. Allow yourself to be guided to these places, first mentally, then physically. You are guided to a place and time of deep Lemurian wisdom. In this sanctuary, the elders show you that even though modern life is different from ancient Lemuria, even if you travel in a different way, your Lemurian guides are around you just as much. Allow the same guidance to be with you in social situations. If you are shy or afraid to be attacked in some way, call in the elements of loving support. The Lemurian angels are there as well to guide, support, and connect you to the right people. You can also call in Archangel Michael in those situations where you feel threatened, where you are in need of immediate care. Guidance can be with you in any area of your life where you need support. It can come in many ways. Sometimes you need to listen. Other times it is an intuitive feeling that guides you. You might also see symbols with your inner eyes or in your outside world. The angels, Lemurians and Palladians are also ascended masters and also the ascended masters are all messengers of guidance. All true guidance comes from the source. Meditate on this, especially if you have also drawn the cosmic heart source, which tells you about the source of guidance. You do not need to worship the messengers of guidance because they are doing their job of giving you the message. They are your light family and they want to communicate as friends. Allow this equality to come upon you. This communication that is relieved from dogma. The messengers all have specific functions in your life, and together you are a cosmic team of oneness. There's an affirmation here. The heart of love is guiding me. The heart of love is guiding me. Um, guidance. Inner compass, support, trust your guidance. Like I said, yeah, trust the divine. Trust what they are showing you. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Trust the guidance. It's a good one. That was a good one. Um, I did not pick a prayer, but I think I bookmarked one last time. I think I did. Let's see here. Yes. Uh, this is a prayer from Prayers That Root Demons and Break Curses by John Eckert. You guys know I love my John Eckert books. Uh, I'm praying for everybody watching, all of you beautiful souls. Um, all of you chosen ones, all of you star seeds, what's up fam, and myself. I break all assignments of the enemy against my finances in the name of Jesus. Oh, this is a prayer for prosperity and financial release. I break all assignments of the enemy against my finances in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of poverty, lack, debt, and failure in the name of Jesus. I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things are added unto me. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of the canker worm, palmer worm, caterpillar, and locust that would eat up my blessings in the name of Jesus. Lord, teach me to profit and lead me in the way I should go. You are Jehovah, my provider. You are El Shaddai, the God of more than enough. Wealth and riches are in my house because I fear you and delight greatly in your commandments. The blessing of the Lord upon my life makes me rich. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. I am God's servant and he takes pleasure in my prosperity. Jesus, you became poor that through your poverty I might be rich. I meditate on the word day and night and whatever I do prospers. Let peace be within my walls and prosperity within my palace. I will prosper through the prophets and prophetic ministry. Let my barns be full and overflowing. Let my sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands let my oxen be strong to labor i receive riches and honor durable riches and righteousness bring honey out of the rock for me let me eat the finest of wheat let my teeth be white with milk wash my steps with butter let me lay up gold as dust let me have plenty of silver let your river lead me to gold let me inherit the land i refuse to allow the angel of blessing to depart without blessing me in jesus name i pray Amen. Amen. That was a good one. Um, I cut it down because it was a lengthy one. But yeah, amen. Amen. Praise God. Um, that's all I have. That's all I got, Collective. That's all I got, fam. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, collective energy is the best.
I'm glad you're here. I uh, love you guys to the moon and back. Um, to anybody who's donated to the channel, thank you so much. It's a really big help, and I love you. You guys see, I'm getting new decks. Um, I got a new bracelet coming, too, that I'm excited about. I don't know if you guys remember. A lot of you don't remember Ethereal. It was one of the first of its kind that I made. Um, it's similar to Earth Angel, but I'm redoing Ethereal. I found some really nice stones. Some really nice stones that I'm really excited about. Um, but the Ethereal bracelet is coming back. It's not going to be the same as it was, though. I've revamped it. It's, I'm excited. I'm going to wear it. That might be one I wear every day. <laughs> but um, uh, thank you guys uh, to those of you that have donated to the channel. Um, anybody who would like to donate, the links will be in the description box. Um, as well as the link to my Etsy shop. Um, I have a few bracelets available. I think Abundant is in stock. Uh, Love Yourself, which is my Root Chakra bracelet. Red Jasper, Red Coral, and Red Carnelian. This one's in stock. Uh, Intuitive Protection. If it's not in stock, it will be uh, restocked within the next couple days. This is my baby. My take on the Triple Protection bracelet. It is Black Tourmaline, Galaxy Tiger's Eye, and Natural Pyrite. Um, I have a new one. It's like my third eye chakra bracelet. Uh, well, it has a third eye chakra stone and a throat chakra. It's called Vision. It has uh, blue kyan or kyanite, blue avatarine, and hematite. Um, it's a few bracelets up. Uh, you guys asked for Phoenix. It's coming back. Um, thank you guys so much for your support of the Etsy shop. Oh, bye bye bad vibe. For those of you unaware, I have an energy cleansing bath salts. This is my personal blend of bath salts. Uh, the two pound will be restocked. The one pound, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing them. You know, it just makes more sense to just make them all a big jar. So, um, but this this will be restocked. I have, I'll have like 20 in stock. Maybe by the time you see this. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but bye bye, bad vibe. This is my blend of salts and herbs. It has juniper, mugwort, angelica root, and bay leaf. I use Dr. Teal's Epsom salt. I use sea salt. I use pink Himalayan salt. And I also add lavender essential oil. Uh, this is my blend for energy cleansing. Um, I mean, it works wonders for me. Um, and for some of you as well, check the reviews. You know, check the reviews. You know, you know, check it out. You know, click the link. <laughs> Uh, but that'll be re restocked as well. Um, to any of you who give me those energetic donations, those likes, those comments, those subscribes, thank you so much, fam. It's a really big help. And I love you. Um, I want to send you guys an abundance of love, light, healing vibes, peaceful vibes, uh, prosperity, success, faith, gratitude, protection. Everything great. You're so worthy. You're so deserving. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. As always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and this has been a reading for The Collective. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.